Okay, let's go ahead and open up Premiere Pro. And I've got a blank project set up here. I'm just going to drag this video clip into our project here. And I'm going to drag that onto the timeline. So this is normally like one of my little introduction texts. I'm just speaking about what I'm going to be demonstrating in this particular video clip. And we want to take the audio and convert that into caption text here that we can display on the video clip itself. So to do this, let's go ahead and click on the video clip. Let's go up to the window section here. Go to workspace and select captions here. Captions. When you click captions, the interface will change slightly and you want to click on transcribe sequence here. When you click that button, there's some settings in here. Now imagine if you had speech here, but then you also had some music playing in the background on a second track below, then it's important that you select the right track. So in this case, we're going to select audio one. Audio one would be the speech track here, and maybe audio track two would be the music playing in the background. So make sure you select the right track there. The rest of the settings you can really leave as default. I'm actually going to change mine to English UK, but there's all these different languages here that you can uh, target. These are just the common languages that you can target. It's not every language on the planet. It's just these particular ones that um, it can transcribe. So I'm going to go ahead and click UK English and I'm going to leave the rest of the settings as default and then click the transcribe button. So what's happening now is this audio clip is now being uploaded to the servers and then the server is going to try and recognize what words I'm saying and afterwards it's going to give us the transcription and we'll probably have to do a few little fixes on it maybe not so much it's never going to be a hundred percent perfect so you still have to read through the content and make sure it relates to the actual audio in your video clip but it does a pretty good job right so there it's done didn't take too long but remember that's quite a short track so if you've got quite a long track it's going to take longer to transcribe uh, there's a couple of options in here either you can go through this and read through it and tidy up the content but i like to just go ahead and click create caption here create caption and then you can just leave these settings as default and click create so once you've done that just give it a few seconds and you'll see the captions appear at the top here in orange here right i'm just going to mute this um this track here for a second just mute it for one second and let's go ahead and mute that uh, let's see mute it here and um, what we want to do is just tidy this up so it says hi welcome to this DCP web and I know there's some typos in here uh, so it should really say hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial in today's tutorial And we can get rid of this so it says hi and welcome to this dcp web tutorial in today's tutorial i am going to show you how to change the size of video clips in adobe premiere pro 2021 so that should actually be correct so i'm going to unmute this let's now go back and click the play and see if it sequences with the audio correctly hi and welcome to this dcp web tutorial in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to change the size of video clips in Adobe Premiere Pro 2021. Okay, so that's perfect, right? So it may not get the text exactly right, but this paragraph or this sentence here, this sentence here, it got it perfect. And this one here, you know, I guess my pronunciation of words is, is probably not the best way to pronounce words, but um, it, you know, you have to go in there and maybe do a few little tidy ups afterwards. But apart from that, the sequence is correct and you can easily go in here and just retype your content if you need to. But most of the time it gets you pretty accurate. I think the slower you speak, I speak quite fast, but the slower you speak, then, you know, the better your translation is going to be basically, right? So one other thing we want to do is go ahead and select all of the uh, subtitles here. And we're going to click on the middle of one so we can see the actual text quite clearly inside of the the window here right so i can see that text right now and when i highlight this text on the right hand side here we're going to get the option to change the font style so i'm going to go in here and i'm going to click on this font i'm just going to type in uh the vedana right because vedana is a very clear font to read so i'm going to do like vedana bold I'm going to select that now you can see the text is very very clear to read and you may not want to make it bold you can make it maybe another option like uh, maybe uh, regular then it will be a lot thinner but I think bold it needs to really be bold to, to make it stand out then down here you can um, choose to put a stroke a stroke around the text I'm going to click that option right now the stroke is set to white and it's already white text so it doesn't make much sense so we'll click on the stroke and we're going to set it to black so then that will just give a little border around it and we're going to set it to like maybe uh, 
uh, like uh, around five, three, three to five normally is a good number. Let's say it's a five, right? It's a little black border around the text now that makes it a little bit easier to read. I like to add a background, so let's click background here. And this is like a gray transparent background. You can click on here and change its color. You can change it to a different color if you want. But I think uh, the gray is pretty good option here. And we want to set the um, opacity down a little bit. So you can bring the opacity down or up to, to add the background color here. I'm going to say it's around 50. And then I want it to grow a bit, right? So I can get all of the text in. Let's make it a bit larger. And let's try and um, increase the font size. It's a bit small, isn't it? So let's try and set it to around 70. So now that is nice and legible. That's nice and easy to read. And we can go back here. I'm just going to mute this. Oh, actually, let's just play it and see what it looks like with the audio. Hi, welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the size of video clips in Adobe Premiere Pro 2021. Okay, so that's pretty good. So that's how you can go about adding automated subtitles into your video content using Adobe Premiere Pro. I know it's not 100% per, uh, um, accurate, but at the end of the day, it's done quite a bit of the work for us and we have to just go in there, tidy up a little bit, choose the right font styles, add a background, and then you're good to go. So let's go ahead and minimize this. That's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.